guys! So today is the final instalment of Get Knitting and because it's our last one I'd really like to go over looking after your knitted garments. So there are some really key rules with washing and generally caring for anything you've knitted. If we go over those today because I'm sure a lot of knitters will agree with me that there have been some massive blunders when it comes to washing and ironing etc etc. I'm pretty sure all of us at one time or another have popped something in the washing machine and thought ah that'd be alright and then got to the end of it and it's either small enough to fit a toddler or it's been felted. So let's have a look at some of those care tips. Okie dokie, so I've got my lovely knitted cardigan. When you first finish your garment, so you've knitted it all, you've sewn it together and this is what you're left with, what you then need to do is something called blocking. What blocking is, is you need to wet your garment, um, do this gently and by hand, don't put it in the washing machine, gently wet it or wash it by hand, you need to then turn your garment inside out. You need to lay it flat onto an appropriate surface and you need to, in some cases, depending on the wool, pin your garment so that it dries in the shape that you want it to. So with this one, I would literally wet it. I haven't wet it in this instance but you need to wet your garment or wash it very very gently because it's the first time it would have been washed or wetted at all. Check the ball band for washing instructions so that you don't make a boo-boo. Don't be tempted by the washing machine especially if it's the very first wash you've done. So what you'd want to be doing is Getting it nice and inside out, you want to be positioning your garment so that it's the shape that it should be when you put it on. So you need to make sure it's all straight and all level and exactly the shape that you want it for when you put it on. Then put it on a surface where it can dry nicely and literally pin up and down your garment so that it is drying exactly the shape that you want. So you can do this by wetting it, putting it out to dry and literally letting it dry. Or alternatively, you can also use steam blocking. So if you're steam blocking, one, you need to definitely check your ball band and make sure that the washing instructions are clear and that it's a wool that is okay with steam blocking. And then what you need to do is make sure you've got something like a flannel or some sort of material that you can place on top of your knitted garment and then use your iron over the top of that. You shouldn't use your iron directly onto the garment but put down some sort of maybe flannel or a bit of material or something um, just to block it that way. But this is key for making sure that your garments are exactly the right size and shape that you want them without them becoming distorted or accidentally stretched through washing. Okay, so as you can see, I have got some rather nice wool here. Um, on the ball band you can see it contains llama wool, it cont contains silk, it contains linen, there's all sorts going on and it is a very gorgeous yarn. So, especially when you're knitting with such nice wool, you need to be very careful about how you wash your garments. So from the symbols on the ball band, you can see hand wash at 30 degrees. So don't be tempted to put it in the washing machine because if you do, it could come out distorted, it could come out stretched, it could come out felted, it could, um, it could even shrink, it could really do your garment damage. The symbols are also saying don't bleach, which is obvious, iron on a low setting and do not tumble dry. 
again if you tumble dry you could end up with a shrunk garment and I know from experience that you do kind of want to just chuck everything in the washing machine on the hand wash setting which checking your yarns there are some yarns that are quite heavy duty and can take it and work in the washing machine extremely well but it's always best to be safe rather than sorry because if you do have a really beautiful yarn then the last thing you want to do is wreck it by stretching it or shrinking it or felting it in the washing machine so make sure you pay attention to these ball band symbols you make sure you know what to do with your garments because every garment takes hours and hours and hours of work and you can literally accidentally throw that away at the press of a button which all of us have done i know from experience my husband once accidentally thinking he was being helpful managed to shrink a beautiful cashmere jumper so it's very easily done but just make sure that you're aware of all of these symbols so that you can get the best out of your knitting okay guys so that's the very last installment of get knitting i've really enjoyed doing these videos over the past few weeks and i hope that a lot of you have picked up both needles and had a go and hopefully you've enjoyed it as much as i have if you have taken up knitting or you're a regular knitter anyway it would be great if you got in touch with us because we're hoping to set up a digital knitting matter which should be amazing so do get in touch if you're interested in having a video knitting matter okay guys bye